Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And I'm here with the second game of our International League uh, season, where I'm taking the Charlotte Knights through the season. We are playing again Durham as we did in game one. Um, if you want to check that out, that's on the site. Um, I posted that, so you might want to go back and check that game out. But we are in the second game. So I'm, um, oh, it looks like we have a double header today, although I may only play one game, but we'll see. Um, okay, I got to go fix the lineup again. Again, we're missing a center fielder. And again, I don't know why we're missing a center, center fielder. But anyway, I will put Charlie Tilson in there, as I did in game one. So he will lead off and play center. Um, and our pitcher is Ronaldo Lopez. Everybody knows Ronaldo Lopez. So for some reason in this alternate world, he's down on Charlotte. So, and again, I, I've explained some of these things and I'll go through um, other things as we go, but this is out of the park baseball. And basically out of the park baseball has, whenever you buy the game, you get every past season, major league, and I believe even minor league, but you definitely get the current minor leagues. I don't know how accurate they are the further back in time you go, but it seems like they are. So anyway, you get every minor league and every major league season. So we're doing the 2019. This is out of the park 2019. So this is basically, I, I guess you would say, based on 2018's season. So there are many players who are on the White Sox now who in this game would be um, still would be on Charlotte. That includes Eloy Jimenez. Um, it includes Charlie Tilson, although Tilson is kind of an up and down guy. He's not really uh, solid on the White Sox. Um, but Ronaldo Lopez, maybe Ronaldo Lopez, no, in 2018, he really was on the White Sox. So, okay. But here's another thing is that this is a completely alternate world. So it isn't necessarily like because Ronaldo, Ronaldo Lopez might have been on the White Sox the entire year. He doesn't necessarily have to be on the White Sox. In this game, Rick Hahn or the general manager brain trust for the actual White Sox could decide we got somebody better. We're not going to play Ronaldo Lopez, so we're going to send him down to Charlotte. So that's where we are, and I am the manager of Charlotte. I am not a general manager. I'm not a president of operations. I don't do any of that stuff. All I do is manage the team that I'm given. And so Rick Hahn can give me any guy at any time. He can promote somebody from um, Birmingham to my team, or he can demote somebody from the White Sox to my team, and then I have that player. So. Without further ado, let's start the game. And we will, we're at home and we are pitching to Joe McCarthy, not Joe McCarthy who used to manage the New York Yankees, but some other Joe McCarthy. And I believe Durham is the, uh, is the farm team for Tampa Bay. So you might see some guys who are on the Tampa Bay Rays. And that's a fly out. So Lopez retires the first guy. And that brings up um, Tyler D. Smith. I don't know who Tyler D. Smith is, and they couldn't even draw a picture of him. So they just got the uh, emblem for uh, Durham for him. So one on with one out and Nate Lowe up. And if you know the Tampa Bay Rays, you know Nate Lowe is a, now see, you see that was an infield hit. And I explained this in game one. The game is, it. what was meant to happen there is that it was a diving stop by the first baseman and he just couldn't make the play. But the way it looked was he stood up and he was just looking at the pitcher and didn't throw the ball. 
So the game's graphics are a little behind what really is actually taking place. So it looks a lot of the time like somebody's not trying. They're just not trying to get anyone out. But that's not really the case. And now Jake Smolinski is up with one out and two on. And it looks like he might go deep. He did. Three-run home run for Smolinski. Unbelievable. All right, so that brings up Brendan McKay. And I believe Brendan McKay is now on the, uh, uh, the Rays, or he has been. So anyway, we're down 3 nothing immediately here. And that brings up Christian Arroyo. And then that name is familiar. So that's it. Uh, but they did get three runs. So let's not pretend like, you know, we got out of that unscathed. So now we have uh, we have Charlie Tilson batting against their pitcher. We uh, announced that in a minute. Who that is. And he struck out. And their pitcher is Colin Posh, who has a card in this year's Stratomatic set. He's starting, though, and on the raise, he was actually a reliever. So that's two away. And that brings up Eloy Jimenez. And he's, he's looking bad in this game, I got to say. He was 0 for 4 in game one, and so now he's 0 for 5 on the season. But anyway, Lopez is now pitching to Nick Solak. Now, Nick Solak is in the majors as well, but he's on Texas right now. Probably part of one of those deals that they did with each other. But again, in this alternate universe, who knows? Tampa Bay might keep Nick Solak and might promote him to Tampa Bay, or he might be stuck in their minor league system forever and a day. You never know. Um, and then that brings up uh, Anthony Bamboom. And I have not heard of Anthony Bamboo. But he is thrown out, and so we get out of the inning. But we're still losing 3 0. That brings up Preston Tucker for us in the bottom of the second. And that's a strikeout. Colin Posh, I think, is going to be difficult to get some, some hits off of. That guy is the real deal. Um, and that brings up Escobar, El City's Escobar. And he's going to fly out to center. So we are out of the inning, one, two, three. And now that brings up Joe McCarthy, top of the lineup to face Ronaldo. He got out last time. And he, he sneaks one through the infield for a hit. Brings up uh, Tyler Smith. And he is going to go off the wall for a double. And now there's runners at second and third with no outs. And that brings up uh, Nate Lowe. Nate Lowe got a good piece of that. Probably going to knock in a run. And it does. So it's 4 nothing now with one out and a runner at second base. With Jake Smolinski up for Durham. And he walks. And Lopez is looking real bad here. Uh, and that brings up, um, that brings up Brendan McKay, their DH, and he's going to slice one right between the uh, third baseman and shortstop, but it's only a one base single. And now up steps Christian Arroyo with the bases loaded and only one out. 
and it's going to be a pop. No, it's going to be a short fly ball to right, and uh, they can't advance on it. So base is still loaded with two outs now, and Nick Solak up. And he will be out. So we got out of the inning without any further damage, but we're not in good shape. So, we got to try to get four runs here. We got to work our way back for four runs. We got Mendick, Danny Mendick, batting against Posh, who has been shutting us down. But Mendick looks like he's going to double into the gap. So, that was nice. And that brings up. Brett Nichols, our catcher. Never heard of Brett Nichols. And he grounds to first, but that moves the runner over to third. And now we have Ryan Goins up with only one out. And Ryan Goins is going to fly out, but that should knock the run in, and it does. So we cut the uh, lead now to three. And uh, that brings up Charlie Tilson. And he's out. And now we are going, I'm going to send him back out there, Lopez, because, I mean, I can't really burn through my bullpen this early in the season, can I? Maybe I can, because Lopez is getting his butt hit. Somehow that ball got, what is it, over the, the outfielder is actually running and fouled in, past the outfield wall. So that's just a double, even though the outfield. Did you guys see that? Let me see if there's replay on this. I don't know if there is. But that was weird. I mean, the outf it looked like the ball went under the wall and pa passed and under the wall, and the outfielder just kept chasing it past the wall. So anyway, uh, kind of cool, but I guess it was meant to be really it was just a double. So, uh, we have a runner at second with no outs. And that's going to be a deep fly. And then uh, we have Joe McCarthy up. And Joe McCarthy smokes that, but right at the right fielder. And so there's two down. And now we have uh, somebody who just struck out. So it's still 4-1. Despite that ball, it went under the wall and the outfielder kept chasing it. Um, Colin Posh is pitching still and uh, against... Who is this? Jordan George. I have never in my life heard of Jordan George. Any, any White Sox fans out there, you ever heard of that guy? Let me know. Leave a comment in the comment section. I'd love to know who that is. Um, that brings up Eloy Jimenez with one out. He's looking for his first hit of the year, and maybe no. That is not going to be one. And so that was a fly out, and there's two down, and Preston Tucker up. And he's out. So uh, 
we're facing Colin Posh with uh, or no, we've got uh, we got Lopez out there now. Lopez, and I pointed this out in the other game, and I probably will for the next few games. But here is here is Lopez's tired bar. You can see he's about halfway through, so he's half tired. He's not all the way tired yet, but he's also not up near the fresh range yet still. <laughs> But he strikes out a guy, so to start off this inning. He settled down a little bit since that three-run first where he gave up a three-run jack. And now there's two outs, and that's good that he's at least going to get us through five, it looks like. He walks a guy, though. And that brings up Christian Arroyo. And Christian Arroyo got a nice piece of that, but it's going to be a fly ball to left. So we're still losing 4-1. Uh, we still can't figure out Posh at all, but at least Lopez has settled down. And we got Matt Skoll leading off the first baseman. And he uh, strikes out. And then that brings up El City's Escobar, and he strikes out. And that brings up Danny Mendick, who doubled the last time up, and he strikes out. Yeah, Posh is no joke. I mean, that guy's relief card was awesome. Uh, in the Stratomatic set for this, this uh, new season, it just came out. So we got Lopez out there. Now he is starting to get he's starting to get close to the tired range. So I'm going to have to think about getting somebody up, probably. And that brings up uh, Nathan Lukes. I think that's the first time I remember calling his name. But he strikes out. And then that brings up Anthony Bamboom, who should be grounding out, and he is. And now I am going, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our bullpen, and I'm going to start warming somebody up, because he's not going to last much longer. Um... I am going to get Jay Puckett warming up. And now we'll go back to the game action. And uh, we're going to swing away with Brett Nichols. Brett Nichols, no fly ball. And then Ryan Goings, maybe, maybe, no, couldn't beat it out. And then that brings up Charlie Tilson. And um, no, so we get no runs there. And let's see if. He is, he's still warming up, so we're going to go back to the game action and let him still pitch. And he strikes a man out. And then that brings up uh, Smith. Tyler Smith, I think. Tyler D. Smith. And he gets the ball through the infield. All right, he's getting into the red, so, yeah, he's ready. So we're going to put him in and go back to the game action. So now we have, we have Puckett pitching for us. AJ, AJ Puckett. And he walks a guy. So we got two on and one out. And that is, and 
uh, bad play, whatever it was. So now the runners, uh, the runner on second stole third is what happened. And uh, we're going to just keep the infield back. And they hit a deep, no, that's a double. I was going to say it's a deep fly ball, but no, it's a double. So here we go. We've got runners at second and third for them. They have a 5-1 lead and there's only one out. And that was a walk. So that was, I guess that was a fly out. Yeah, that was a fly out. So there's one out. One out and then they lace a base hit that's going to probably bring home two. Now it's 8-1. And then they lace another base hit. Ah, the, uh, the pitfalls of being a minor league manager. All right, it's 9-1, and they are really eating into A.J. Puckett. That's going to be a fly ball, though, for the second out. And then that brings up... Um, Grant K. And then that's going to be a, a pass ball or a wild pitch. And then that's a ground ball for the out. And we get out of the inning, thankfully, but it's nine to one. George is up. That's gonna be a fly ball. Did they even bring in a new pitcher yet? Nope, they got Posh out there still. That's a that's a home run for who? Jimenez. All right. That's his first hit of the year too, by the way. So it's nine to two, and now we got uh, Preston Tucker got out. Now there is two down, and that brings up Matt Scope. And he walks. And then that brings up uh, El City's Escobar. And looks like he's going to be out, and he is. And we're going to let uh, we're going to let Puckett keep pitching because I don't want to burn through the bullpen. Although this guy is horrible, at least. Right now he is. And yeah, no wonder he's, his speed is a 45 and his STE, I don't even know what that is. Stuff maybe, I don't know what that is, but it's only 60. Oh, wait a minute, that, that Tyler D. Smith. All right, so there's an out. That's another hard hit ball, but that's going to be an out probably. And it is. So two outs in the top of the eighth. We're losing nine to two. And he does strike a guy out. And I will go to the bullpen and get somebody up. Probably Don Roach again. He was in game one, but he only pitched one inning. So we'll warm him up again. 
We'll go back to the game where we are up. And now, uh, who is that? Adam Pruitt? Austin Pruitt. Yeah, Austin Pruitt. That actually looks like Austin Pruitt. So we got Danny Mendick up against Austin Pruitt. They did take Posh out. That's going to be a ground out. And now we've got uh, Brett Nichols up. Maybe I've heard of Nichols. I might have. He's going to get a base hit to right field. And uh, that brings up Ryan Goins. Ryan Goins. Did he go deep? My God, Ryan Goins hit a home run. Now I've seen it all. Everybody out there, I have seen it all. So it's 9-4. And we are bringing up Charlie Tilson with only one out. And he beats out the throw. And now that brings up Jordan George or whatever his name is. And he's going to double. No, no single. Got a single, though. All right. Well, we got Jimenez up. If he could hit his second home run of the year right here, then we're talking about a game. But no, he strikes out. And that brings up Preston Tucker. And he strikes out. So now I am going to go to the bullpen again. And Roach is ready. And I'm going to bring him in. We're going to go back to the game action. Top of the ninth. With Durham holding a 9-4 to four lead over us. That's one out, and now uh, next batter. He walks him. One on, one out. And that's going to be like Stolen base for Solak. And we throw the runner out at first. And Solak doesn't move from second. And there's two down. And that's going to be a double down the line right there. So now Durham has a 10-4 to 4 lead. And he strikes the man out. But he did allow a run, so now we're down by six. Going into the bottom of the ninth with Skoll and Escobar, the first two batters. And Skoll's going to lace a base hit. That brings up Escobar. And he flies out to left. And that brings up uh, Danny Mendick. Danny Mendick might have just gone deep. He did. Two-run home run. It is really too bad the pitching for us was terrible this game, or we might have won this game. But it's 10-6. Ten six, and that brings up Brett Nichols, and he's going to ground out to third, and now we have Ryan Goins up, who hit a home run last time up, and maybe he can beat this out. No, so we lose ten six. So let's uh... 
see what we got here. There you can see the, uh, take a good look at the batting, you know, the batting box score. See everything you want to see about it. Um, there's Lopez, six and a third, eight hits, five earned runs. And Puckett was, he got his butt handed to him, and then Roach didn't actually do a very good job either. So anyway, we're going to leave the game. And I am going to, uh, I'm going to play uh, the second game. I'll go on and play the second game. And of course, we have to make the same change. I don't know why. Let me see if there's anybody, if we have anybody else. You know, I'm going to put Ryan Cordell in center for this game. And Zach Collins is catching, which is good since um, this was a doubleheader. I guess they knew to put in the other catcher in one of the games. So we will do that, and it's going to be Jimmy Lambert pitching for us. I don't know Jimmy Lambert, and he's going up against Yanni Chineros, who many of you should know if you know baseball, especially um, Rays fans. Chineros is, um, or he's at least up and down on Tampa Bay. So we will go on with the second game of this double header. The only reason I'm playing two games in one shot here is because it was a double header. So that is going to hopefully be a fly. No, it's not. It's a, whoa, we're going to throw him out at second. It was a single and he tried to get out. He tried to make it to second and couldn't. All right. So second batter's up and he walks. Jimmy Lambert, no idea who he is. And that's a fly out to center. So a runner on with two down. And that's going to be a fly ball, it looks like. And it is. And so um, that brings Ryan Cordell up. And I don't even know if that looks like Ryan Cordell, but it does look like an unmade up face. So maybe it is. And he's going to do a deep fly, but he's out. And then that brings up um, George. And he got hit. So he goes to first base, Jordan, George, or whatever his name is and that brings up Eloy Jimenez and Eloy Jimenez gets his second hit of the year at a timely time so now we've got two runners on with one out in the bottom of the first with Preston Tucker up didn't Preston Tucker used to be in the Houston organization anyway um that brings up Matt Skoll Matt Skoll, maybe, no, it's a fly ball. Was hoping, but no. So we go to the top of the second, and it's a 0-0 game between us and Durham, and there's a walk. So McKay trots to first with a walk, and that brings up Christian Arroyo. And that's going to be a strike out on a ball that was on the outside corner, to say the least. And now Nick Solak is up, and he's going to walk. So now there's two runners on with one out, and uh, Brett Sullivan up for them. And he hits a fly ball to center, and that's two down. And now Nathan Lukes is up. Maybe a ground ball to the pitcher, and it is. So we got El City's Escobar up. And he is going to be out, yes. Which gives way to 
Zach Collins. And that looks like a single. Yes, it is. So Zach Collins is aboard with one out here in the bottom of the second. And Danny Mendick is up. And that's going to be uh, hit by pitch by Mendick. So we got two runners on with one out. And uh, that brings up Ryan Goins. This is just really like managing Chicago because, I mean, most of these guys are on Chicago or have been. And that's going to score a run for us on a double by Goins. This is sweet. It's about time we get a, a couple breaks. So Ryan Cordell is up. And he's going to ground out for the second out of the inning. And that brings up Jordan George. And he strikes out. So we only got two runs there, but um, but I'll take it. Especially if uh, the main man here can, uh, can stay good. Jimmy Lambert. Jimmy Lambert. Oh, there's a bunt. Get him. No. Oh, there is a four. He did get him. It's second. Real. That's real. So, uh, Nate Lowe is up with a runner at first. And he's going to crank it. Yep. He did. It's 2-2. Two -two. Jimmy Lambert playing with fire. And it's finally burned him. So, in a 2-2 game now, we've got Jake Smolinski up. And that's a walk. And that's going to be a ground second, maybe a double play. Yes. Thank you. Now we have... Uh, Eloy Jimenez up. And he flies out. That brings up Preston Tucker. And he walks. Matt Skoll. Matt Skoll gets it through the infield. And that's going to send the runner to third. Nice. So now we got runners at the corners, one out in the uh, bottom of the third of a 2 2 game with El City's Escobar up. And uh, I hope he does not hit into a double play, but he did. So. Up steps Zach. No, not Zach Collins. They're up. So they're up. And they get a ball through the infield. That brings up Nick Solak. And he doubles down the line, probably. And see how he the that guy just held it and didn't throw it? It's, it's really supposed to be meant to say that this was a double, but the graphics, like, don't show it that way. So anyway, they have a 3-2 lead with a man at second and no outs. And that's an out. And then that brings up Nathan Lukes. And maybe that's a fly ball, looks like it is. And it's going to advance the runner, though. And now there is a runner at third with two down, and they have a 3-2 lead. And that's going to be a ground ball to short, hopefully, and it is. So... Yanni Chineros is out there facing Zach Collins, and he walks. Nice. That brings up Danny Mendick. 
Mendick. Did he get it all? No. Fly out. One out, man at first, and that brings up Ryan Goins. And he strikes out. See, isn't this better than real baseball? All right, no, it's not. But um, So that brings up Ryan Cordell. And he's going to lace a nice base hit. Probably advance the runner to third. No, he's not because he got thrown out. He shouldn't have tried to take third. Might have to fire my third base coach. So we have a, we're still losing 3-2 in the top of the fifth. That's a pop to the first baseman foul out. That brings up Nate Low, And he's going to ground a second. And that brings up Smolensk. No, yes, Smolensk. And he will hit a double off the wall. And then that brings up. Uh, Somebody, hopefully, who's out. And he is. So they don't get any more runs, and it's still only 3-2. And we got Jordan George up. That name doesn't even flow well. I don't know why they named him Jordan. But anyway, so now he's on. He got walked. And Eloy Jimenez, come on, hit a homer, man. No, 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 no. He's flying out. It would be funny if in this like alternate universe, Jimenez never even makes it up to the White Sox. All right, you got Preston Tucker up. And Preston Tucker, inside pitch, and he pulled it to left field, or right field for an out. And now Matt Skoll is up. And Matt's goal is going to head it through the middle of the infield and uh, advances the runners to third. So we got runners at the corners, two down, and Escobar up. And Escobar is going to fly out to center. So we can't break through there, but at least we're getting on against this guy getting chances we're getting chances so now top of the sixth um jimmy lambert is starting to get he's starting past the midway point of tiring so i have to keep an eye on that um solak is up and he doubles So, Brett Sullivan behind the plate, and up at the plate is Brett. No, Brett Sullivan is batting. Okay, Brett Sullivan's hitting. And he gets it out. Nice. And uh, I think this is going to be the last inning for, uh, for Jimmy Lambert. But he's going to pitch to Luke's. And he strikes him out. So I'm going to go to the bullpen. Matt Tomshaw is about the only guy out there that's really not tired. So we're going to go back to the game action and Zach Collins at the plate. And he's going to ground to the first baseman. Danny Mendick up. 
Mendick doubles down the line. That's pretty sweet. I need to move Mendick higher up in the lineup. Uh, Goins is up. Man at second, one out here in the bottom of the sixth. That's going to advance Mendick to third at least, but there's two outs. And that brings up Cordell. And he walks. And then that brings up Jordan George. And he walks. Now we got the bases loaded with two away. And Jimenez up, I think. I mean, you would... Normally, you would beg for this situation, but he hasn't been hitting good this year, and he flies out to center. All right, we're going to go to the bullpen, and we're going to bring in Tom Shaw because he's ready. And Lambert is probably on his last, last drops of gas, so... All right, nice strikeout. And that's going to be hopefully a fly ball to the left. And it is. And then that brings up uh, Nate Lowe. And he hits through the infield for a base hit. So they have one man on with two outs here in the top of the seventh. And that's going to be a base hit. Only one base, though, luckily. And Brendan McKay is up. And he is going to hit a fly ball. So we're out of that. But we're still down by a run. Tucker up. And he's going to fly out to the left fielder. That brings up Matt's goal. He strikes out. And that brings up Escobar. And Escobar is is hitting a line out to the shortstop. All right, well, we'll see what happens here. I mean, I hope that uh, this dude I put in doesn't get tired too quickly. One out. That's going to be a ground ball for the second out. 3-2 game, man. If we could just have hit like we did in game one of this doubleheader. And that's going to be an out. So we're still down by only a run. Going to the bottom of the eighth. And Zach Collins up. And he walks. Uh, Danny Mendick has been really great for us so far this season. But he strikes out. That brings up Ryan Goins. Yeah, this is Caleric now, his pitching. Ryan Cordell is up. And he strikes out. Well, we know Jimenez is going to come up in the, uh, in the bottom of the ninth. But we go to the top of the ninth, down 3-2. And that's going to be a fly ball. One out. That's going to be a ground ball to third, and it's a second out. And then that brings up Tyler D. Smith. And he strikes out, so this is it. 
I mean, this is it. We got a chance to get one run to tie the game and send it to extras or get two and win the game. Uh, and, and Jordan George is up. And Emilio Pagan is up for them. And that is a base hit. Nice. Now, if Jimenez can just hit a home run here, I mean, I'm not, am I asking for too much? Then we, uh, we win the game. And we get our first win of the season. But no, he strikes out. Thank you. All right. Preston Tucker up. He hasn't been impressive that I can remember. But that might be impressive. Maybe that's a home run? No. It's an out. It's a deep fly. And that brings up Matt Skoll. And he strikes out. So we uh, are 0-3 to start the season, all against Durham. And I, I'll give you guys a good look at the uh, box score again. So Skull on the year is hit, only hitting 250. Tucker's hitting 091. Uh, Zach Collins, though, is great. Mendick is hitting really well. I might have to jostle that lineup a little bit. Lambert didn't pitch too poorly, I mean, but, uh, yeah, just well enough to lose. So, uh, anyway, that's going to be it. Um, we're 0-3. Stay tuned and hit the bell for the notification so you know when the next game will be. And we're just going to finish today, and then that will be that. And that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing up.